power for the unit is plugged in to the lower front side. The operation of the unit is controlled by the switch shown. There is the on position, which turns the unit on, and the timed position, which turns on the timer. You can adjust the time using the arrow buttons. First, press the set button. Then press the up arrow to increase the time and the down arrow to decrease the time. After selecting the desired time, press the set button to run the sample for the set time. Press the set button again to stop the unit and turn the switch to off. Calibrate the unit using a clean filter. First, loosen the three swing bolts to remove the 4 inch filter holder. Inside the 4 inch filter holder, there are two gaskets. Place the filter between the two gaskets. Reattach the filter holder and tighten the three swing bolts. Now you are ready to run a sample. To calibrate the unit, first turn on the calibrator by holding down the main button. The calibrator will warm up and will zero. The first number on the calibrator screen reads standard flow. The second number is the actual flow. You want to read this number. Loosen the bolts all the way and remove the 4 inch filter holder. Remove the filter and the two gaskets and place them as shown into the calibration device. Attach the calibrator to the unit and tighten the three swing bolts.
Q standard is the standard volumetric flow at 760 millimeters of mercury and 21 degrees Celsius. Q ambient is the volumetric flow rate at actual conditions. T ambient is the actual temperature in Celsius. P ambient is the actual barometric pressure. Q ambient will be your flow rate. Turn the unit off. Loosen the three swing bolts and remove the calibrator. Place the filter and gaskets back into the 4-inch filter holder and reattach it to the unit. Switch to timed. Hit the set button and set the time to the standard sample time of 60 minutes. Press the set button to run the sample. To turn the calibrator off, press the left arrow key, then press the down arrow to select power off on the menu. Now press the main button to power off the device.